Hello and thanks for joining us and our highlight coverage of the 2006 Cup of Nations here in Cairo in which we'll be bringing you all the best scenes from a decisive clash between the famous indomitable lines of Cameroon and the elephants from the Ivory Coast. The coast top striker Runa Dindan is back after leaving for home following the tragic death of one of his daughters but is unlikely to appear due to a calf injury. The elephants have Chelsea player Didier Drogba. Coach Henri Michel has a lot of respect for the Lions, especially as Cameroon beat the Ivory Coast twice during World Cup qualification. Cameroon may not have qualified for the World Cup in Germany this summer, but that doesn't mean they've had their teeth pulled. The Indomitable Lions captain, Rigobert Song, is very confident of going through to the semis, saying that you grow up when you get slapped, in direct reference to his team's failure to qualify for the big one. So there we have it, Cameroon wanted to compensate for their qualification slip-up, and the Ivory Coast, who despite reaching the quarters, have failed to impress in this contest so far. An apparent battle of the Giants between two teams, eager to represent their nations with a classy performance. Now we're about to find out who could and who couldn't. Cameroon will be in the green and red strip, that's green with the red trim, and the Ivory Coast are ready and dressed for battle in their very fashionable orange jerseys. Look a bit like the, the Dutch team there. Tonight's independent 23rd man on the pitch is Mohamed Gouzaz from Morocco. The venue, Cairo's military stadium. And we're in the seventh minute, the game underway, across from Akali. Drop her heads, but no, it, the ball's wide. Haven't got a goal yet. First few minutes of this decider for the semis, the Ivorians with the first real chance. See it again there. Gets his head to it, but not quite. Not quite good enough. So, moving up a bit down the road now is a cautious start this game. Ball Kerr with the long ball. Oh, there's a mistake there. The elephant's struck bar. He dupes the defence. Hamidou blocks, no goal there. Good opportunity here for the elephants. Only oh, couldn't connect. Uh, no, still no goals. Maybe a half an hour in. Goalie gets it away. Oh, we're on the other side. Uncut here on the other end of the pitch for Cameroon. Ball's out of play. Still Cameroon on the ball. Still Cameroon, it's a good cross here. Coming to McCormick. You see? No, it's not, it's not, it's not. No problem for the Lions keeper then. Very comfortable ball. Headed directly at him. Half an hour gone. It's still nil-nil. Ivory Coast grouping well though. Oh, what a mistake! Lassie McCoon, Eto's away! Eto! Eto! Tizzy had it away there. What a chance! What a chance there! For the Barcelona striker. Have another look at that. Tizzy has it well away there. Should have been the ball. That's the sort of ball he gets at Barcelona. He has it him in then. Not done it for his team tonight, though. Good work from Jean-Jacques Tizier in the Lions' goal. Still goalless here in Cairo. And we're very, very close to the end of part one. Lovely bit of work there from Tizier. And there goes the whistle. We've got half time now. Up to now, the Ivory Coast disappointing yet again. Cameroon haven't been able to score yet either. Both teams with a lot of sloppy passing. Very scrappy match up till now. It's going back and forward like a tennis match in slow motion with the ball boys joining in. Let's hope things get better when they return to the pitch. Eto still looks happy though. Oh, we're doing a Mooney. The man in the moon doesn't care about this. The way the game's gone so far, I bet he wishes a couple of friendly clowns would come along and block the view. Back into the match now. Jeremy, the Chelsea man with a corner. Cameroon, Rigobert Song. Rigobert Song there with a great header. But still no goals. Watch that again. Very good corner there from Jeremy. Rigobert Song was in there with a vengeance. But the ball goes too wide.
No, he's very angry with himself. I understand it. Well, we don't have to go much further now. There's another long ball here. Drogba! Oh, what a mistake there. The long ball there from Vicky. Couldn't get, get to it. Gets his left foot in it. Drogba there. It's over the bar. Drogba with a pile driver. The type that makes him so valuable to his club, Chelsea. Doesn't make it this time. Same as his counterpart, Eto didn't make his earlier on. Hours play gone now. Ivory Coast on the ball. Sakora is a free kick. Can they make anything of this situation? Sakora. Ball's over there. Oh, Dropper's got it. Dropper's on a bicycle. But that was a bicycle without a bell. Didn't get it in. It's wide. Suleiman Hamidou had that, leads to a corner. The corner we aren't showing you didn't lead to anything either. So we move up now to the 68th minute. Dang, that wasn't a very nice touch, that wasn't. Eto still in a friendly mood. There's a chance here for the Ivory Coast. That was Drogba! Ah, but Drogba just shoots it straight into Suleimano Amadou's hands. Good run, fair try there by Drogba. Hardly a highlight, but this match hasn't really produced many highlights up to now. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Kiyokolo Toure, a long ball from 35 yards there. But over the crossbar. Just needed to be a bit lower there, just a few inches. We've had our first goal there from Arsenal's Toure. Bring some life back into this dreary stalemate. Just 10 minutes of regular time. We're still looking at two big zeros on the score sheet. Throw in here for Cameroon. Oh, a tuba! Tuba shoots. Tizzy has got his fingers on it. Timothy Atuba there. The German Bundesliga defender with Hamburg. With a sizzling try there in the dying minutes of this game. Whoa! Lovely shots. But the goals just don't look like they're high enough. Maybe they should put them on stilts. Oh, sounds like the whistle. We have a full-time situation. Still smiles on everybody's face, though. I wish I had. Nice to see friendly, happy faces, but maybe that's the problem. No killer instincts. Even the ref smiling. Extra time now. Free kick from Boca. Suleiman Hubba is wobbly. Oh, corner tries. Oh, it's the woodwork there, Faye. Woodwork Bakari corner. It's in. It's there. We've got a fish in the net at last. Connie scores a goal. We've got our first goal of the night. Who would have thought it? Why couldn't they have done that in regular time? Why did we have to wait so long for that? Lovely bit of work. A lot of confusion there. Looked like a billiard match for a moment. Well, who would have thought it? We got one in. You can watch it again here. Balls everywhere. Wouldn't work. Joining in the game there. Oh, and that's a beauty there from Bakari Corner. Fish in the net there. Kony brings the elephants in front. It's 1-0. 1-0 for the Ivory Coast. Life on earth at last. That probably got the moon smiling as well, that one. At the opposite end now. Cameroon on the ball. Ah! It's woodwork again! Cameron with a chance for an equaliser, a long-range shot there from Chelsea's man Jeremy. Firecracker of a volley. The Ivorians saved by the woodwork. Oh! What's happening now? He's in! I don't believe it! jean McCool calling in Mion Z! Substitute Mion Z! It's a goal, the equaliser's there. He brings the indomitable Lions back into the game. And about time too. 
just five minutes after going down, they pulled one back. It's one all. One one for both teams. In such a short space of time. We had to watch one and a half hours of nothing doing. And in extra time, we have a draw on our hands again, but it's not two zeros, it's two ones. 90 minutes of snoring and bottom, now it's all happening. Two hours, two goals, two teams cancel each other out. And that's it. The first half was dead as a dormouse. The goals came in an extra time. Now for the second time today, the match has to be decided by a penalty shootout. We had to wait so long, watch two hours of play. As I said earlier on, two hours, two goals, two teams. Two teams have cancelled each other out totally here. And now we have to go into penalties again. Cameroon lost their place in their final World Cup qualifier, by the way, by missing a penalty against Egypt. Is this deja vu for the indomitable Lions? Out of the World Cup, will they leave Egypt empty-handed too? We go into the penalties now, and we'll soon find out. And we have our first man on the pitch to take the penalty, the first penalty shot now. It's going to be Barcelona's Samuel Eto. He was smiling earlier on. Not at the moment, though. Is he smiling inside? Or will he be smiling in a minute? Eto takes it, and it's in. Oh, he kisses the ball lovingly there. Still in a good mood, very confident. 1-0 for the indomitable Lions. Tizier was beaten there. The girls like it too. It's that twist and shout they're doing there, I think. Boom, it's in. Tizier in the wrong direction. So now we have a second one. We go to the other side now. We got Chelsea's Drogba against Sulemanu. Will he keep his nerve? Very serious look on his face, Didier Drogba. Gives Sudimanu a burning look there. Drogba! It's in two. Drogba wins the duel. Hamidou reads the direction. Drogba just pile drives it in. Must have been 200 miles an hour that one. It's one all. So both the superstars of both teams have done the business. And now, we've, all the field players have done it. They've all got one in. Nobody's missed out as yet. Now we've got, it's keeper showtime. Oh, it's in. Chug, 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 like Thomas the Tank Engine there, but it's in. That was a really cool one, that. And it's 11-10. So, now we have changed places. Keeper Tizier tries his luck now. Will he make it? Concentrating. Yep, keeper's on that. Both have scored. So we've been through the entire team now. No breakthroughs yet. That means we're back to square one. No easy task now, especially when you're glad to have scored your penalty. Eto with his second try. Oh! Eto sends up a weather balloon. Maybe he sent that ball up to the moon because he thought it looked so sad. The Barcelona star can't do it the second time around. Now, Drogba with a responsibility. Oh, the pressure on Drogba's shoulders now. It's do or die for him. Drogba gets this in. They're through. And he knows it. Quick breathe in. Serious look again. 
Boing, it's in. Drogba puts them through. Chelsea's Didier Drogba with the golden foot boots Cameroon out of the competition. The indomitable Lions have had their teeth pulled. The Elephants keep their ivory, go through to the semis where Nigeria's waiting for them. We saw a scrappy old match, lively 30 minutes of extra time, 24 penalty shots. Goodbye from me.